All right, as promised, uh, here's a video of with some cardboard in it. Uh, majority of this stuff is from Nationals, and there's a couple of pickups along the way uh, before I even left. Uh, starting off uh, for the uh, 2010 Plates and Patches Team Supreme set, uh, we got, oh, nope, there he is, Tom Brady there. There's that. And then uh, as we were walking into the convention, uh, Schmitty pulled this out and uh, just handed it to me. Uh, it's a real Davis autograph out of, uh, I think it's 97 Skybox. So thank you for that one, John. Much appreciated. Um, we did, when we got to Dave and Adam's Cardwell booth, they had some fantastic deals on boxes. And they were letting uh, 2011 Upper Deck College Legend boxes go for, I think, like $45. So we all just started buying a whole shitload of them. And uh, I bought two boxes. Oh, surprise, surprise. Uh, we got this Rocky Blyer inscribed 60 National Champs. Uh, William Perry, The Fridge. Although it's not inscribed, the fridge. Uh, John Capaletti, a Charlie White, uh, Joe Theismann, and it's Colin Kaepernick. And those are all listed. Moving along, uh, met up with uh, Wenzel and. The first night we were all uh, having dinner, he pulled these out and just slid them my way. Probably making room for his Prince Umukamara PC, he started. Uh, a couple of Eric Decker press pass autograph cards, so thank you for that, Everett. You are a solid stand-up dude. And uh, this film, Not Yet Rated, had the patience to... Uh, Look through uh, singles, boxes, and everything like that. I did not have the patience for that at all. But he found this uh, Jake the Snake Plumber uh, game used ball out of 99 Upper, or uh, actually uh, Collector's Edge Fury. And I believe it was either Jayhawk or Scoth who was doing a box of uh, Totally Certified 2012, and got he got this Eric Decker and just slid it down the table my way. And then the King, Bob, was doing a box of uh, 2012 Prominence. Pulled this out of his box. It's Ronnie Hillman on-field autograph. And he just he handed that to me. So thank you again. All hail the King. And uh, as mentioned in the last video, I did do a box of uh, 2012 Upper Deck All-Time Greats. And when I slow rolled it, I actually thought that was Wayne Gretzky for a second. And I started freaking out. But it was Bobby Orr. Is the base card numbered to 99, and then this, and then there was the Wayne Gretzky, uh, number 35, and this Dan Reno. I guess that's bronze. I, I guess I'm not sure. Uh, out of uh, 65, and there's the Bobby Orr one of one Golden Gatto. And uh, before I uh, left for Nationals, I had purchased this on eBay, and it was at home waiting for me when I got back. Uh, I think it's number 25 out of 2008 Timeless Treasures. It's three-color Bo Jackson autograph. I thought that was a very nice, sharp-looking card. Follows into uh, BBF21's new collection di direct. Oh wow, new collection direction. I'm trying to find uh, that one or two really nice cards autographs of players and I saw that and I bid on it and I won so there's a Bo Jackson uh, first card the first single I bought at Nationals it was sitting there I've always wanted an autograph of this guy the deal was good I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it number 16 of 25 uh, out of this out of this year's tops this uh, chasing history set they got going on uh, Jersey autograph of Michael Jack I thought that was pretty sharp looking, so I just went ahead and threw down some cash for it. Uh, this next one I, I saw and I couldn't live with myself knowing that it was in Chicago and it, and it needed to be in Denver, needed to come back home. It's not a logo shield, it's a laundry tag. The laundry tag just happens to have the NFL logo shield on it. The card is numbered 7 of 11, but a very clean, sharp looking card. 
Uh, one of the better designs from National Treasures uh, this year when it comes to football. Something about white cardstock. But there's Ed McCaffrey. It's a laundry tag. The price was right, and it's just very clean. So I figured, why not? And then uh, RBI Crew 7's booth, our uh, official go-to booth. Uh, whenever one of us got lost, uh, I went up there. Kind of always wanted an autograph of this guy. I saw it, and uh, I I, uh, I bought it. And Ryan and Magdorn didn't even have to twist my arm about it. I, I just did it because I was there, and I figured I was on vacation. Why the hell not? Some of this this card might look familiar to some of you guys. <laughs> Number three of ten. It's the museum collection of Evan Longoria, and uh, that's probably the only Evan Longoria I'll ever need since I can't find one that's better than that. So that's the damage I did at Nationals. Uh, thanks to all the guys I met, thanks to all the cards that were given to me, NFL Network. <laughs> Racist. Uh, so yeah, there's the cardboard. Only three cards I bought the entire time I was there. Unbelievable. I'm still kind of surprised by that. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.